Even though the US and European aviation authorities warn commercial airlines not to fly into Tel Aviv, that isn't stopping diplomatic efforts on the ground. Battles continue to rage in Gaza Wednesday, and a war that has killed nearly 700 Palestinians and 31 Israelis. The first and foremost, I think the violence must stop now. Secretary of State John Kerry headed into talks with Israeli and Palestinian Authority leaders no sooner had he landed in Israel. We're working hard, and I'm not going to get into the characterizing, but we have uh, certainly uh, made some steps forward. Short on details, Kerry did, however, say there had been progress. Although analysts predict diplomacy needs more time. There's urgency on the part of the United States and the international community to stop the fighting. But it, both Israel and Hamas both feel that they need more time to try to reach the objectives that they've set for themselves. In Jerusalem, 30,000 people attended the funeral of Max Steinberg, a 24-year-old from Southern California who was serving in the Israeli military. He was killed in an attack on Sunday. As Israeli bombardment continues, Palestinians are seeking shelter wherever they can. We came here to the church and they told us it was safe. They opened it up for us and said it was safe. Gaza City's Greek Orthodox Church is now a refuge in the middle of a war. Of course, these people, they don't have nothing. They get our, out from their houses with their clothes, just to carry their children, their babies. And now we try to help as much as we, as we can. The UN Refugee Agency says so far nearly 120,000 Palestinians have fled their homes and are staying in 77 UN shelters. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.